my goodness it feels like i have not done this in a minute so hi guys welcome back to the channel welcome to today's video if this is your first time on the channel my name is vanessa i'm an nigerian youtuber based in Accra, ghana yeah so like i have gotten a lot a lot of dms i really appreciate the fact that if i go uh, a world as if i i'm not posting for a while people like um check on me check up on me on here i really appreciate that and a lot of people have been asking where have you been so i've been in nigeria yes and from the title of this video you'll be thinking ah she moved again okay before we get to this video just so you will not end up watching this video for a long time and then you discover it's something and you're like oh what did she do i did not move to nigeria i am just visiting one thing uh, a lot of you do not know is that i've always been shuffling between Accra and Nigeria, that's Ghana and Nigeria for a very long time. As much as as far as long as I've been here, I always shuffle between both places. It's just that most of the time I don't get to document my travels because if I'm traveling to Nigeria, it's basically for something important, work and the rest of that. And I go for a while, then I come back for a while. So yeah, I did not permanently move to Nigeria, but I have been in Nigeria going to two months now. Yes, as a matter of fact, I've been making this video in my very last week. So is a um, my few days in lagos basically and i'll be back um, back in accra very soon just in a couple of days i'll be back in accra basically but i just need to make this video like a form of a, a live update video where i tell you oh, oh this is where i am this is what i've been happening and this is why i left for a while so like i said i have been shuffling between both places for a while i just do not document it because like I have a whole life outside of YouTube that I do not like putting on YouTube. There are a lot of things I get up to that I do not like putting on YouTube. And most of the time when I'm back home here in Nigeria, I get so busy with work, business and the rest of that. And with everything that takes me back home, and then I just like forget uh, vlogging. And sometimes I actually do vlog. I, I make these videos, but I do not have time to like sit down and edit them. So a lot of the time, I wait, I take the videos and then I get back to Accra and then I start editing them and then I'm putting them. Okay, I'm looking very rough. That's because I'm tired. It's been a long couple of weeks. I have no makeup on my face. This glass is just like trying to... And as a matter of fact, let me wear the glasses just to cover up my face a bit. So ignore that. So yeah, I'm in Lagos for a couple of weeks now. Going to two months basically. And it's been a lot of things. I think this journey really has made me have like... A whole different level of appreciation for my life in Accra. I usually shuffle between Nigeria and Ghana basically, but I have not spent as much time in Lagos. I usually just get to Lagos and then I connect to my home state and then I'm there for like for however long I'm staying for. And then when I'm coming back, I get to Lagos also for a couple of days and then I'm out and I'm in Accra. But this time around, I'm like in Lagos, whatever what I'm doing need to add my attention in lagos so i'm like just in lagos i'm not even going i'm not even going home let me try and adjust this a bit i am not even going home at all like i've just been in lagos focusing on what i'm doing the first couple of weeks the first week was really tough basically adjusting to life in lagos like if you've been in lagos you know that lagos is not like for the weak minded it's a lot of things a whole different ball game entirely like the first thing i was complaining a lot i was like oh i miss i miss Accra. i need to be done with this on time and then i get back to Accra. but you know you plan all these things and then some of that thing would just happen and then before you know it you're there way longer than you intended and then i got to the second week and then the third week i started enjoying my stay not like enjoying because i was still stressing doing what see nigeria can stress you are like a lot of people that they put in offices they just decide to make the average life of an average nigerian more difficult than it should be you know you will understand that if you're nigerian basically that's not why i'm making this video i'm just talking about my experience in lagos and how it's been when it got to like the second and the third week i think i got used to it and i actually started enjoying the chaos i was no longer fidgeting i think the first the first week in lagos i was always afraid like oh because we have all this whole lagos has this whole bad rep about it right so usually if i'm in lagos i'm always scared i don't like going out i just take a taxi quickly to my hotel wherever i'm staying back to what i'm doing like i do everything chaplain 
I'm, I'm always out there, I'm always indoors basically. But this time around, I decided, oh, let me explore Lagos to in Lagos. And I've been putting out a couple of those videos. I hope you're enjoying them. Then I discovered that it's not like frightening as I have always believed it is. I know it's busy, it's super busy. There are lots of people there, and I'm not used to. I love quiet places, which is why I actually decided to relocate to Accra because Accra has this whole city vibe to it, and it's not as busy as Lagos gets. Lagos, the chaos in Lagos, the madness in Lagos is on, is on another level, basically. So I discovered I started enjoying the chaos, basically. Like, I'm actually enjoying my stay in Lagos. I cannot believe I'm saying it, and I'm like, well, maybe I judge Lagos too harshly. You have to like get used to it before you get to enjoy it and i've not really experienced i've not really like um experienced a lot of i've not experienced anything bad apart from the fact that officially there's a lot of the uh, anyway that's another thing apart from the stress i go to trying to fix what one or two things nothing really horrible has happened and i also and i'm really enjoying the fact that i'm able to like still locate some of the guinea dishes i'm not very used to because like i said i live in ghana so i'm not very used to a lot of the dishes the fact that i'm able to still get them here in lagos is like amazing super amazing so yeah, that's what i've been up to so now i did not relocate i'm just here in nigeria getting one or two things in place and then you know i'll be back to my life in accra and then we'll be back to being on youtube generally so this is like a life update video i'll be back on the grind very soon i'm even back now because i'm done with what i'm doing in lagos i'm just going to take the last couple of these and explore you know i really have to like explore the city and get used to the city and get to experience life because like i said i'm not even i'm not enjoying my life here in lagos and i like the except of the traffic the other day, I was going from Aja to Ikeja. I spent about four hours one way, and I had to get back to the island same day. So it was like four hours one way, and then we were coming back. What I wanted to do was just like for two minutes. I went to two different offices somewhere in a, a Tony 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 and Ale Avenue and Opebi. So I didn't even spend up to like an hour or two there in Ikeja, but to get back to Aja. I left the cage I bought 3 p.m. I was like, oh, it's not getting late. The traffic will be mad. But I did not even expect what I did. I, I left the cage by 3 p.m. And then I got to Aja back about 8.30 p.m. at night. That is how hectic it was. We had to like go and pass through Ikoyi. There were a lot of my no maneuvering going on and i had the same taxi from morning to evening i was really lucky that i wasn't in accra because if i had done something like that in accra like take a taxi to stay with me from morning to evening the amount of money i would have paid uber for morning to evening but luckily it's nigeria so the uber for morning to evening just it was just about fourteen thousand era which is about a hundred hundred and sixty ghana cities because um you know, it only has to get city there are bad. Not so bad. But apart from the traffic aspect, life here has really been like enjoyable. I've really like enjoyed getting uh, getting acquainted with one of the biggest cities in my country because I'm usually just in worry. I do really love the life in worry. I still cannot live in Lagos, but I cannot like completely say, Oh, I can spend like a couple of weeks in Lagos and I will not be so bummed out. But now I'm actually bummed out. I'm, I'm trying to like get back to Accra. I think being in Lagos and a lot of things I've experienced here have made me like appreciate my life back in Accra a bit more now. Like, I'll be somewhere, I'm like, This cannot happen, you know, this should not be happening. I'm tired, I need to get going. If there is nobody, like, there's no way you'd be like, Oh, I'm, I'm just going to quickly rush to this place, I'll come back. Like, I can be in my house in Accra. I'm just like, oh, I'm bored on the Sunday. Let me just rush to Kramo. Kramo is actually quite a distance from my house. But then I'm just there and I'm out and I'm in back. You know, it's just those uh, little things like that we take for granted, basically. But um, another thing I've really enjoyed here is the fact that cost of living is not very high here, but it's still way more affordable than a car so i've like really i've really loved the fact that i'm not like experiencing the city in a, in a, a different light so i now have a different appreciation for both cities and i'm like oh if i'm here this is how my life is if i'm here this is how my life is i really like 
this this trip has really been a lightning. I bet I cannot wait to get back to Accra and still get back to my life in Accra. There's something I'm trying to start up in Accra also, which means I'll be in Accra for a couple of months. Like I said, I've always been traveling back and forth. Just that there were there were, there, were, there are times I usually go to Nigeria every month. Just do not know about that because I do not get to like. Uh, document that yeah but these days i now go and i stay for like a long stretch of time because traveling now has become so expensive i am talking so fast i hope you're still hearing me traveling has become so expensive like to travel between nigeria and ghana is a lot of money so now i don't have the luxury of like oh i'm just going to pack up and go to to nigeria stay for a week and i'm back to do what i want to do in ghana and then i'm back in nigeria when my attention is needed in Nigeria also I do not have that luxury so I have to like go and stay for a long stretch of time because something has to give I don't have that kind of money to be born in again but hopefully things will get better the whole aviation met down financial crisis or whatever the price of tickets might come down be a bit more affordable and then I'll get to like be shuffling between both places but for now it, it was it's like I said it's just like a mini life update how have you guys been doing a lot of you where have you been I'm okay guys I'm really fine I'm really enjoying my stay in Lagos but I cannot wait to get back to Ghana and you know also focus on YouTube for a while also you know for now YouTube don't really pay the bills yeah it might be pain someday so i have to like focus on both sides but yeah i'll be back soon and i'll focus on it to you you know i'm giving you guys the content i really hope you're enjoying the content i'm giving you from nigeria i wanted to diversify my content a bit you know give you from both sides so you get to experience both places i cannot wait for next year maybe after the election nigeria might be a bit better and then we'll get to visit more places in nigeria but for now the insecurity level is still very it's still a bit of concern just that it's not as frightening as i thought it was in lagos like i've been in lagos for weeks now nothing bad has happened around me i'm like okay i mean i judge this city a bit too harshly so yeah that's what's up i can't wait to get back and you know get a cash out that's basically everything is i think the first week i've been back in accra I really, 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 really want cocoa. I've, I've been having regular camel here, and I'm like, I'm used to the ginger taste already now. So, yeah, it was it what it is. So, I just decided to come on here and check on you guys and let you know I'm okay and tell you where I am and what I've been up to for a minute. I really hope you enjoy this video. I don't know, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another one. Bye, love.